It's your show, and um, I'm getting my feedback on all eyes on me uh, moving, and what I'm what I'm getting from it is pretty much what I figured. You know, you're gonna have something that says nice, like it. The ones that didn't know Pac, and then the ones that knew Pac didn't like it, or because you know sometimes it's because of um, they don't want the truth out there. Because you know. Tupac was a controversial person, period. That's why he's Tupac. I mean, the things he would do, most people wouldn't do. The things he would say, most people wouldn't even say, let alone think about. You know, when he was talking about we're not ready for a black president and all this stuff. I mean, who, who was even thinking about uh, us having a black president at our age, of his age? You know what I'm saying? So, and a lot of the things that he did as far as in those, on, in those times, it was very impactful because I was what um three years younger than him so i'm right there with him i'm, I'm bone thugs on age so i'm right there with him he was like the, the the big brother to the brothers in the streets that's made it big and, and giving game to all of us at one time that's what that's how i started seeing it because when i first seen tupac at the street uh strictly for my niggas strictly stri strictly for my, i'm like what the hell is this i wasn't into it. i was more into that Nas, it was Illmatic, I heard that. I was, that, I was like, okay, I like that. And um, uh, Craig Mack, here come the brand new flavor in your ear in the Wu Team Cash Room. Thing around me a little bit of theirs too, but that wasn't sticking on me. But then when he came out with that um, next one, fuck the world. I scream, I woke up screaming, fuck the world. I mean, everybody all over Flint was just bumping. Doom, 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 doom. I mean, everywhere you go is just god dang on Tupac. Bumping, loud, bass, loud, everywhere around the city. Um, hey, the, the guys was using that far as with the girl. Oh, hey, 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 oh. And um, Bree did songs with him. So that, that brought even more to him. He even came a rock flint. On one occasion, I was going to go. But um, what I what I was told was um, he he came and did the show downtown for like one song and then he left and went to an after party. And it was like we got gypped out of our dang money. They was pissed off at that. I met another guy, the Nation of Islam, for say he did security for him. They had to hear him push him up into the car because they was uh, 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 people was coming for him. So. I mean, I, I've got some little stories on. I mean, I, even the one where I rode with Breed in the car, I'm thinking that was him in the uh, passenger seat that day when uh, Breed picked me up and uh, took me on up to uh, work. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's just a little tits, bits of that. And then, in the end, when Tupac passed, I was uh, in the nation. Popping. I, I was hard out there on the street doing it for the peoples. So I, I had been cleaned up out of that lifestyle. I, I wised up, you know. My daughter having a child made me wise up and think of uh, better things. And that's what uh, a, a child would do to a, a father that's really concerned about his children and the future of them and looking out for them and a protector and all that. So that took me out of that thug life and all that kind of uh, spirit. But I'm looking at Tupac. Tupac didn't have no children. So, I mean, he was he was only getting older. And as I was getting older, I seen the world opening up more and more. And I, everything was like more avenues <laughs> opening up. So he don't have no child. He, all his money and everything is his. So, man, he big time. I mean, all the avenues just open. I, I seen it. I, I, I could see it now. I mean, all the options was there. And he was... Uh, had enough knowledge, wisdom, understanding, power, and force to be effective in those categories. And a person, I've dealt with it since then, not on that magnitude because I've never been at total top number one all over the world, but I've been dealt, dealt with um, envy and things of that nature because I'm the, the um, hot person at that time or I'm the number one man compared to other guys that was um, number one at that time and the jealousy from people that come from all areas. I mean, I've studied um, Bruce Lee when they did that to him. Everywhere he go, we got people wanting to challenge him in this, challenge him in that, trying to, trying to make it, trying to take him out so they can be the man. And like they do, they still do that stuff to this very day. But, um, Let's get back to the, the movie. As far as the movie go, 
uh, from what I'm hearing, um, that's just the Tupac movie from the, um, the really, I'm, what I'm, from what I know about Tupac and, and what I've, uh, meditated on is y'all going to have to do to Tupac because Tupac always did things that most people didn't do. You got to think that. Or he was like at the cutting edge of it. And just like Michael Jackson. And what y'all going to have to do with Tupac, with the Tupac, to really be true for the Tupac and his uh, uh, life, y'all going to have to do his lifestyle because there's so many layers, so many, he, he's reaching out to so many people and you know him. And um, I mean, his mother would why, why, what he talked about with his mother, he wouldn't talk to no woman on the street like that, or or the ones that was acting like bitches and hoes. He wouldn't talk to queens like that. It's just you can hear it in his talk. So, to be uh, more honest on that opinion, and whoever makes um, the next movie, y'all gonna have to make that movie. Guess what? It's gonna have to be like the Black Godfather, the Black Godfather, straight up. I mean, it's. You're going to have to do it in a, a, like a trilogy, like The Matrix or something, or four or five of them, you know, in fars and parts, because you can't do Tupac, honestly, in no one one era, because there's so many people he's dealing with, and they all popping, they all hot, he's around so many hot artists and people, and dealing with so many things, I mean, with the rising and all these different people, this you, you got to, they got to have more meat to them. You can't just, they pop up in there for a minute and then go to the next one. Nobody knows too much, especially this new generation. If you want that type of movie to last and people to go back and play it and, and really feel it, you're going to have to put the meat in it. You can't do no skeleton style with the Tupac movie. You're going to have to come with a part one, two, three, or a part one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Just like you got to look at the All Eyes on Me CD, too. What nobody think about coming out with no two suit CDs at one time? Are you serious? That's just too much. That's how Pac was, because it's worth ethic. He had a lot at all times because of his worth ethic. And I understand that because I'm like that. When I get started on something, I'm like, shoot, that's it may be enough for them, but shoot, I want more. And it, it's just like you collect a collection of it because it's, it's so much in store. I'm not. I don't just have a little bit to say. I don't have a little bit to show. <laughs> that ain't me. I got it's so much. I I, it, I got to bring it all out. So I mean, far as with the Tupac movie, it's gonna have to be on a level like that, and it's gonna have to be like a trilogy, four, five CDs, and 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 you drop one this year. You can drop one um, the end of the year. Uh, and drop another one the next time next year or uh, whatever but I mean that's 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 the only way I can see you doing justice about making a, a movie about Tupac and because it's it's the way the reason another reason is because of his death man they, they haven't even solved it to this day even the biggie the other one in all this is too much involved you gotta put all that involved and how he felt about it Shug in it, how um, his lawyer was a part of it, how it really went down, and different eye views of what happened in Vegas. You can't even do one uh, wait in Vegas because they haven't um, brought the total truth out on it. That's the fact. You can't do it. So you got to come with it, and this way, you know, uh, from a one person's angle, of, and then you're seeing it from this angle, and then, then you're seeing it from this angle. And and, send, and, and let the people um, um, make um, a better decision on what the truth is to find out the truth because that's how you find out truth you got to put it all out there and let the people uh, see what makes more common sense and what makes more of the truth it's just like um, the flat earth and the globe and, or all these other things dealing with Manetta, Manetta and, and all this stuff you got to put it out there and, and, let, and let the people be um, able to um, bring a better sense of because since you don't want to bring the total truth out like you don't know when you do know and um and ain't want to bring the man total justice then the truth will come through the people God will bring the truth through the people you can't fool people in those um, areas 
let alone um, black people in those areas. Back then, you had a lot of white people in a lot of fields, and they have a lot of black people in fields. But shoot, not today, homie. You can say that one, you can say that yesterday, but a uh, black person be looking at you like you damn lie. God damn, this motherfucking line. That type of stuff. So to be just about the Tupac um, movie, it's going to happen. I haven't even seen it yet. But I was around when Tupac was around. So, I mean, the movie is just bringing back memories of what I've already seen in movies, read on the paper, um, listened to his music. I've, I've listened to all his Tupac music. I mean, when Tupac passed away, it was guys going getting all his CDs just to, um, you know, but I already had them. I mean, the only thing I didn't have was the underground stuff that came out afterwards, and guess what? I got that too. And those didn't last, those, those tapes I had didn't last long because bad boys were stealing them bad boys because <laughs> it was hot underground stuff. But um, I, I, I was hearing all that, all that, all the stuff after his death. The, uh, the underground tapes and, and um, the, they call lost tapes. It ain't too much I've heard lately within the last 20 years that I hadn't already heard. I say about within the last 20 years out of Tupac's songs, I probably heard about a good 20 to 25, if that. And that's, I don't even think they was full songs. They was just like a verse on this person's song, a verse on this person's song, maybe this song and that. But beside that, just like a CD where all the rest of them just be remixes and um, with different beats and some sound good, some uh, nope, you know, some are all right and things of that nature, but that's just how they do. And everybody get paid off the Tupac thing and it's a stake. And man, but um, the Brothers in the Nation, as soon as that happened, minister told us down there in St. Louis at the convention that Tupac is dead. And, the, and I was tripped out because I know the minister is articulate of speech. Very good. And when he said <coughs> Tupac, I had to think about it. I'm like, you know it's Tupac and his name T-U-P-A-C Tupac unless he was looking at it at T-P-A-C Tupac. Tupac is dead, but he didn't never say to pop. And then a person, if you uh, uh, a person can be considered dead when they changes their name and things of that nature. I was looking into a lot of different things and ways of a wild person be, will be considered dead. But then um, a brother Dawood uh, uh, Muhammad up in uh, Muhammad's mosque number one um, did a uh, uh, speech on it. You may want to go back and get that one. That was um, that was very good from um, Brother Dawood Muhammad at Mosque Number One in Detroit, Michigan, and he broke it down how the government was a part of it. And then, as you know, to this date, you know more information that came out. You see, uh, one of his bodyguards was uh, part of the um, CIA or FBI, one of the two. And then he had his um, other bodyguards there, and all this stuff. They tell him to take off the. I mean, really, in, a, in, in it depends on how people see it. In certain ways, it's, it's like the government set him up, killed, killed the Tupac, Tupac knew he they were supposed to set him up. Um, he got away for about two years or whatever. Then they caught up with him and killed him. Then um, one way is that uh, Tupac was never um, killed in that car that night. Um, he got away when he went up to that bathroom after that stomping as a distraction. He went up to the bathroom and his uh, uh, decoy came out and perpetrated his him walking fast on that. He didn't have time to see him smile and nothing like that. He walking on out. The other Tupac going out the other way. They say a helicopter. He could have got on the helicopter and the other one got on in the ambulance and went that way. And he probably didn't know he was going to pass. So he probably didn't pass, got paid off. And then they got that body that they paid that money for. He used that body and all. Man, there's so many ways. And it is possible to fake a death. I mean, you got the Machiavelli and all this stuff. I mean, the, 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 the point of it to me is you may never know. But the point is you can fake your death if you want to. There have been, the government have um, killed people. Instead, they was and 
and claimed that he was dead. Their birth certificate is they, um, what's they, they uh, scarecrow man, the straw man. After that's after that paperwork is considered you did, then you out. Then on this paperwork, they ain't even saying he did. So why would that? I mean, it's because they haven't found that told you where his body is and all this. They burned it up and all. It's so much controversy involved in that, and that's what Tupac was always surrounded by a lot of controversy because he was doing things that most people wouldn't do. It's just like Minister Farrakhan. They don't. They, my, Minister Farrakhan has a lot of controversy around him because the truth and, and the actions that he make that's bold compared to what most people would do with this government because they bow down slaves. He's more, he's um, the freest, powerful black man on the planet now. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, those type of things because he's messing up their reality on things. His reality is not their reality, but they want his reality to be their reality and it ain't happening and there's friction, controversy. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with Tupac. People, oh, you hear him. You couldn't control him. Couldn't control him. You live with that. And I think a lot of the stuff that Tupac, as far as dealing with, he was like a Jesus. He was a two. He was ahead of his time. He would, it, it wasn't the time for a person of his magnitude to be um, doing what he was doing at that time because a person of his is very explosive. A lot of people could get killed because of the government using him as the pawn to um, put them in that position. But see, when the government get weak and like it is today and ain't got no money and got it stretched out with wars here and there and they, they've they been totally exposed on how they're treating blacks, don't care about blacks and all this stuff, and everybody can see it on their TVs anytime, all day, 24-7. Tupac, in this time period, shoot. Be a whole nother story, whole nother story, whole nother story, because you can see it. it ain't, he ain't got to explain. He ain't got to uh, break it down to you. It's already examples of everything he was talking about right here in existence. That's why they say he properly seen it here. I mean, most of us that can get the knowledge of self, that's nothing, uh, no big secret and uh, uh, surprise. Uh, a prophet is nothing. But um, Tupac was more than a prophet, just like uh, most of us are more than a prophet. I'm more than a prophet. Anybody can see the future and know what's going to happen to uh, uh, if you know your past, your present, and your and your future, and who you're dealing with, and, and what's been prophesied, and what hasn't been brought into fruition and all. Man, I mean, it's not hard, nigga, like so big of a thing. But man, when you woke, a lot of this stuff you'd be surprised and shocked about it don't even surprise and shock you I can just explain to you as best I can on that level but um, this Tupac um, All Eyes On Me movie would be justly done I mean you can even see it in some of his late um, movies that um, you know with John B are you still down he got the mafia style on and, with the, and, and stuff like the Godfather I mean I think that's just be the uh, best just manner of going about it is doing it in that manner. So you you ain't got to all quickly put everything down in no goddamn on two hours. I think uh, one, each Godfather movie was like what? Uh, two episodes of part one and part two and they was like four, four hours each, right? If I'm not mistaken. And that's, that's what I feel would be just far as with a Tupac movie. And um, if you can't do that and you 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 don't feel you can do the budget to do it, you don't think you can get the payback from doing something like that, then just leave it alone because you would not be doing no no uh, justice, which will give peace to a lot of things in that as a closure in Tupac's life. And that's the Landosha Show. Peace out, family.